Uh, now you bugging, we smell like a hundred. AMG pushing up. Doris, what are you most looking forward to this season? Well, the long, hot summer is over, finally. To me, one of my favorite things is watching the rookies. Which of those guys will make an immediate impact? Which guy gets the most time? And then, you know, some second rounders always seem to surprise us. The diamonds in the rough that are perhaps a little more prepared than we thought. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. At small and power forward, it's Tatum and Porzingis. Drew Holiday out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Horford in at the center position, filling out the middle. Now, here is James. Hits the trifecta. LeBron James has built his game well beyond the three-point line. You've got to check him everywhere. Outside, Brown. Pass to Tatum. And here's Porzingis. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. It's been a career of ups and downs for Porzingis. But he seems to have found himself now, Doris. Well, let's think about the start of his career with the New York organization. He was off to a tremendous start. Then the injury sets in. And obviously, there's a physical and mental battle you've got to overcome. But boy, now that he's moved on, he is starting to become a force. Count it. Yeah, you have to be able to take mid-range jumpers at times. I know it's not a high-value shot, but for Tatum, sometimes that's what the defense gives him. Now here's Russell. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Holiday. Back to Russell. Six on the shot clock. And the shot's good. Russell's got five now. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Here's Porzingis. There's Tatum with the three. Connects from downtown. Tatum's got his second basket of the game. Well, Porzingis does a nice job looking for the window to make his teammate better. Pretty pass. Hachimura finds Russell. Here's Reeves. Shoots over Brown. And again, it's the Lakers. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. Tatum looking it over. Horford a screen on James. Puts it up from 12. Again, Boston. Well, size and skill. Tatum on the interior. Yes, sir. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Three-point lead. Pass to Reeves. Now, here is James. Here's Davis. Counted by Tatum. And Davis slams it home. It's amazing LeBron draws so much attention in pick and roll situations, but always looking to give it up to a teammate. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From West to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city loves basketball. And it's Hachimura missing. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Holiday passes to Tatum. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Tatum's got 10 points in the game. <laughs> he still has it missed. Four for four to start the game. Pass to Reeves. 102 left in the first quarter of the game. James outside. And a miss there on the triple. For Boston, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall. Brown passes to Tatum. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Los Angeles has gone two for four from range to start things off. Russell against Tatum. Pass to Reeves. Here's Davis. Using his post moves to get the two points. Hard to defend that any better. Davis is just so talented and poised inside. Shot and game clock separated by five. Tatum against James. Outside Holiday. 
for three. Rebound by the Lakers. James outside. And the three-pointer goes. James has gotten his second bucket on the night. Oh, the rhythm and timing for LeBron James. No hesitation off the catch. Love to see it. The baskets were coming early and often in the first quarter. Breakdown for the Lakers. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. LeBron and Vanderbilt are the three and four. Cam Reddish is out there with Gabe Vincent, and it's Wood in at the five. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. Now, here is James. There's the strength of the king. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Boston trailing. Pass to White. To the inside. And that one's good. Gabriel. Gabriel's gotten his first bucket of the night. Well, that's not exactly the most solid screen you'll see, but it still works. Outside Reddish. To the paint. Here's Wood. Rebounded by Gabriel. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Pass to White. Rebounded by LeBron. Los Angeles has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Known as one of the most successful teams in NBA history, the Boston Celtics continue to add to their legacy doors. Yeah, B.A., this is a roster that completely understands how special it is to play for this organization. They also are mindful of the weight of expectation that comes with it. Championships are their history. Championships are what is expected. Now, here is James. Give him eight. Punching it inside, LeBron. Uh, LeBron decisive, despite the contact right there. The Celtics have got two of three shots to go in the second. Then passes to Hauser. And here's Tatum. The three. And the Celtics, another three. And they're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. And it's Vincent off the drive. It's tipped. Left side, Tatum. Oh, and it's Tatum finishing it off inside. Now, this is one of the best scorers in the game today. Jason Tatum, we're getting used to performances like this. And out of bounds, Boston will have it. And a moment to check out who the Los Angeles Lakers have coming up. On Tuesday, they'll be taking on Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And then on Thursday, they'll be facing Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns. Boy, the offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. LeBron James is sustaining greatness into his late 30s. He said, quote, as long as my mind stays in it, I can play at this level for a while. My body is going to be okay because I always make sure to take care of it and I put the work in. And Brian, call it mind over matter or the fountain of youth, whatever you want to call it, LeBron's work continues to pay off. Indeed, no question about that. Thank you, Allie. Shot clock at six. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And Vanderbilt slams it in. Such confidence as a passer. Hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. And Boston calls time here. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Wood. Hachimura comes in for LeBron. Reeves is checked in for Reddish. And Russell is subbed in for Vincent. A big group substitution here for Boston. Horfer, he's checked in for Gabriel. Porzingis comes in for Hauser. Brown, he's checked in for White. And Holiday subbed in for Banton. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture in an NBA organization. Ooh, B.A. Culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys having strong leadership. And, of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. Boston on offense. 
They're on a 14-6 run. Holiday against Russell. Holiday passes to Brown. With his first shot attempt. The Lakers with a rebound. Here's Reeves. There's 48 seconds left in the first half. And the whistle blows on a backboard violation. But over and back. Now here's Tatum. 21 points in the game. Pass to Holiday. Outside Porzingis. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Porzingis has got five now. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Reeves. Vanderbilt with it. Outside Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Inside. Drops in the layup for two. Davis has got his third basket on the night right there. So effective in screen and rolls. When Davis cuts hard like this, he's capable of getting quality looks. The scoring is coming easy for him. Got to keep the ball in his hands. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Celtics. Hitting three trays in the quarter, providing some sharp shooting. We'll be back in a moment. Only contested game. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Kicking off the second half, here's Joe Mazzula's five. A star wing pair. It's Brown and Tatum outside. Porzingis is the four with Warford at the five. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Boy, if Rui Hachimura can consistently make three-point shots, he becomes that much more dangerous. Holiday against Russell. Holiday passes to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Here's Porzingis. Okay, do it, KP. And Grant, the news for the Celtics over the summer, moved on from Smart in order to acquire Porzingis. Yeah, the team wanted to get bigger, and Porzingis gives them that. Hard to lose a player like Smart, but the Celtics feel their guards can fill that void. Here's Russell. Holiday grabs the miss. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. Two-point game. Next up, the Knicks in New York. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. Porzingis with a screen on James. Tatum against James. Horford. No good that time. Hachimura with the defensive effort. Throws it up high. James inside, working on Porzingis. Here's Reeves. The shot's good on the assist by James. Reeves has got five. Well, Brown is such a student of the game. This guy knows exactly how to get the defense reacting and hits the open man. Porzingis passes to Holiday. Now here's Tatum. For three, Porzingis. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Tatum against James. Davis, the pass to Russell. James, outside. Davis for the screen on Tatum. Pass to Davis. James, outside. Over Tatum. They grab their own miss. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. Well, Doris, when he's off the court, Jalen Brown is an outspoken advocate for education. What I love about Jalen B.A. is that he's about so much more than basketball. This young man has a passion for learning. It's a very admirable cause he has tried to be out.
And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Tatum passes to White. And here's Tatum. To the middle. Here's Horford. Oh, Horford! Wanting it more! Well, this is where Al Horford gets going, right? He's a high percentage shooter anytime he's got deep post position. And he lobs it up to the rim! Again, the Lakers! Man, what a wild one this has been. Eight lead changes, some big plays, and some big mistakes, too. Pass to Holiday. There's the triple. Sends it home from three-point land. Holiday's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. James, outside. Davis, a screen. Fires from deep. Wow! LeBron James with the range. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Holiday finds Tatum. They double-team Tatum. White for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got five assists tonight. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Here's Vincent. Left side, Russell. Six to shoot. Davis for the screen on Holiday. Russell from outside. Boston with a rebound. And that's how you have to defend him out there on the three-point line. Played him perfectly. Tatum against Hachimura. There's 10 seconds left in the third. Tatum with it. Tatum knocks it down. He's locked in right now. So skilled at keeping his balance in contact, Jason. Come on, everyone. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. LeBron and Vanderbilt at the three and four. Gabe Vincent out there with Cam Reddish. And it's Wood in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the Laker five. Down low. Here's Hauser, guarded by Vanderbilt. The offensive rebound. The three is up. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, that's his spot. And the defender did everything he could to interfere with the shot. Here's James. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. And there's the screen. Here's Gabriel. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his seventh assist here tonight. Now Jason Tatum has become an extraordinary passer. This guy knows the attention he draws, just gets his teammates involved. Now here's Vanderbilt. Outside Reddish from the arc. Gets the three ball to go. Reddish has gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. The Celtics with the lead. Outside White. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. That one's good for two. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Well, Los Angeles shooting 71%. Their offense has looked unstoppable all game long. They set the pick. Here's James. Launches a three. Fires in the triple. Cool, calm, and collected at a critical juncture in this game. And Boston calls time here. And I'm sure the players will be staying hydrated with some Gatorade during this timeout. It's so important that they maximize their ability to recharge during a short break like this. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for Christian Wood. Hachimura comes in for Vanderbilt. Reeves is checked in for Reddish. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Vincent. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Horford, he's checked in for Gabriel. Kristaps Porzingis comes in for Hauser. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for White. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Banton. All right, let's get a report from Allie. 
Over the break, I listened in on Joe Mazzulla's huddle. Well, Coach is thrilled with their three-point shooting, saying in the huddle, guys, let's keep it up. Continue to shoot it from deep. It's working. They've been on fire from distance so far. And Allie, thank you for that. Now here's Russell. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Here's Russell. And he's going for the lob! Davis misses. Well, he saw the play coming together, but the timing was just a little off. It was a really good thought, for sure. But the lob has got to be better than that. Here's Brown. Pass to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Here's Porzingis. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Embrace the spotlight, KP. Delivery in a big moment for Porzingis. Now here's Davis. Horford covering from inside. Again, the Lakers score. What an emphatic bucket by Davis. This is a guy who never backs down or gives up. Brown looking around. And it's Boston scoring again. You can tell Jalen Brown embraces these kinds of moments. Big time bucket. Pass to Davis. Low block shot. It counts! And the foul! That's on Al Horford. Hey, they really needed that one. Big time move inside. Has the ability to score against size, and those were crucial. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Boston? Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. That free throw, good from Davis. In a close game, it's great to have guys you can count on to knock down free throws. Here's Tatum. Hachimura with a rebound. Boy, a miss like that would drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. LeBron finding a way to come up with a ridiculous make in a huge situation yet again. Now here's Tatum. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. Yeah, Coach has to love that it's Tatum at the line. He's such a clutch performer. So the first one drops, and that ties this game up. Now these moments with the game hanging in the balance is exactly what Jason Tatum dreamed about. You want to be like Kobe? Time to make some shots. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. Huge free throws right there. He's able to put them on top with those makes. To Davis with the fadeaway, and there's another one for the Lakers. He wants the ball, has a flair for the dramatic, unfazed in big situations. And Boston has possession now. Tatum outside for Zingas. Oh, gets the three to fall. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. The Lakers. Fifty-one seconds left in the final quarter. James finds Davis. Out to Achimura. Let's it go from deep. Rebound, Boston. Passes to Tatum. They double-team Tatum to the wing on the left. Davis against Porzingis. To the paint. 
Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. To the wing, right side. Here's Reeves. Outside Russell. Pass to Davis. Cans it to force overtime. And this is as good as it gets. A big time one. We're going to overtime. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. LeBron and Achimura are the forwards. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Davis in at the five down low. Pass to Achimura. James outside. James double teamed. Just five on the clock. That one's good from Achimura on the assist by James. This continues to be a battle. The lead is within reach. Yeah, but that's been elusive. They've missed a few plays along the way that they'd love to have back. Now here's Porzingis. There's Tatum with the three. Russell with the rebound. And there's the lob. And finished off by Davis. And you love how effortless Davis makes this look. Rising up for an alley-oop like it's nothing. Tatum against James. Porzingis sets a screen. Tatum gets the bucket. Tatum's got 29 points. Jason Tatum under duress. Big moment, no problem. Pass to Davis. Nice assist by Russell. And the Lakers lead by four. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Now here's Holiday. Back to Brown. Outside Holiday. The three ball sinks the tray. Stepping up time basket from Drew. I mean, we've seen him excel in big moments before, but wow. Davis against Horford. And again, it's Anthony Davis. Give him 23. Oh, man. He plays with a relentless motor in punch time, too. Davis always wants the ball in his hands. Now here's Holiday. Back to Tatum. Inside. Here's Porzingis. He connects! Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings him within one. Oh, you love the aggressiveness and the swagger that Porzingis has to take that shot. Such a clutch play from the Latvian. Davis down low. He's against Warford. And here's Tatum. Holiday passes to Tatum. Back to Holiday. Let's go with a three. And the Celtics have another three. And the leadership of Holiday shining through. Wow. And so it's the Lakers with it. Davis down low. Horford covering. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. And now they decide to foul intentionally.
He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Well, what's impressive to me about Jason Tatum is how he attacks his weaknesses in the offseason. This guy is committed to greatness. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a four-point ball game. He knew what was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession. From Russell, that falls. Nice feed that time from James. That gives him a double-double in this one. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. Shooting for Austin. Jason Taylor. Taking two fouls. First, and that'll put him up too. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a three point game. Calm under pressure, and every point here means a lot. And he lobs it up top. Count it. Well, the more repetition he gets, the more floor awareness you develop. D'Angelo Russell showing a desire to get his teammates involved. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. No good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. Yeah, the calm demeanor of Holiday, it really helps him stay cool under pressure. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that'll put him up two. Russell deciding where to go with it. Can't cash it in. And now they foul and stop the clock. He gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Well, this trip to the line should seal the deal. Amazing job. So it's a narrow victory for the Celtics, pulling it out for the W. They escape with the W, even though they needed a few extra minutes to pull it off. And both teams gave their all. But when it came down to overtime, it was about who had more determination. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum.